The Colony Wars of Starfield are clearly going to be a major part of the game, and I think they're even going to play a pretty big role in the overall story when it comes to the factions. We unfortunately do not know much about the Colony Wars, in fact it's still up in the air if they're even called the Colony Wars. The only time Bethesda have spoken about them, they refer to the war as quote, the bloody Colony Wars, but they could have just meant that the war was bloody, you know? Here's the full quote. Around 20 years before the start of the game, the two largest factions in the settled systems, the United Colonies and Freestar Collective, engaged in the bloody colony war. Today, the major factions enjoy an uneasy peace. And that's pretty much everything that we now know from Bethesda. So now we know that the United Colonies fought against the Freestar Collective, and the Freestar Collective obviously fought back. And I have a pretty good feeling that the two factions will act sort of like a Stormcloak versus Imperial type of vibe from Skyrim, but obviously in space. I honestly think that the United Colonies will very much rule through manipulation and maybe even fear, and it has been confirmed that they are the strongest faction in Starfield, and this picture specifically definitely gives me heavy Empire vibes. Whereas the Freestar Collective look to be living in a bit of rough shape, sort of as if most of the folks who live here may have even lost their homes due to the war. I wouldn't be at all surprised if the Freestar Collective act as a sort of rebel alliance, maybe even stealing giant ice blocks to create fresh water for starving citizens and refugees. The Freestar Collective definitely seems to be the type of faction that helps the needy and the less privileged and the less fortunate, if you will. Maybe even a little like the Minutemen from Fallout 4. Let's just hope that this dude doesn't send us to help 20 outposts every 5 minutes. Another, Another subtle 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 help. I'll mark it, I'll on, mark it on, on your map. map. So the way I see it is that the United Colonies will act as a middle ground faction, a little evil and a little good, whereas the Freestar Collective will act as the fully good option at the end of the main story, and the Crimson Fleet will act as the fully evil option, whereas the Constellation faction will just act as the guys who just basically follow your lead, a lot like Fallout 4. The Railroad were the good option, the Brotherhood of Steel were the middle ground option, the Institute were the evil option, and the Minutemen just sort of did whatever the hell you told them to. I wouldn't be shocked if Starfield copied a lot of this, which I know a lot of you probably don't want to hear. Now ideally, and I think a lot of you will agree with this, I would love to see more choices and consequences in Starfield compared to past Bethesda Game Studios games. Not just, oh you know, this is the good faction, this one's evil, and so on. I would also love to see a way to beat the main story without the help of any faction, and just sort of do it yourself. But back to the topic in hand, the Colony Wars. We still don't actually know why it even started in the first place. All we know is that a few years, 20 years specifically before Starfield takes place, there was a massive war spreaded throughout the colonies, like a world war in space, basically. And it ended up with the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective signing a peace treaty, but as confirmed by Bethesda themselves, the treaty was an uneasy one, meaning both factions are likely just sort of sitting around with their fingers on the trigger, waiting for the war to start back up again, and I think that that might be where we come in. I would not be surprised at all if Bethesda used Starfield to do what they originally wanted to do with Skyrim's Civil War questline. See, the Civil War questline in Skyrim was supposed to be a lot more in depth, and I've spoken about this before. They basically just cut 99% of it and made it super simple. This was because A, they lacked the technology that they needed to create such a questline, but B, also because they ran out of time to do a lot of it. Originally, we were supposed to rise through the ranks slowly, not just after like one mission, like they left it. We were going to be able to decide who we attack, when and where, even using such things as weapons to our advantage. Todd Howard, Bethesda's lead director, has stated many times in the past that their original idea for the Civil War questline in Skyrim was so cool, and he would love to be able to redo it and do it how he originally wanted. Well, Starfield is also Todd's dream game. Would it be so surprising if he decided to put in a space version of their original Civil War questline? If not, what's the point in having the peace treaty be quote, uneasy? Plus, we all know about those Bethesda quests where they just have a bunch of NPCs fighting and attacking one another. Like a big battle. How cool would it be to see that? But everyone's in spaceships instead of on the ground. Honestly, one of my biggest questions right now about the Colony Wars is why it even began in the first place. What were they fighting over? 
Were they literally fighting over colonies, food, water supplies, weapons, planet ownership? There's really a whole bunch of things that the war could have started over and I really want to know the reason. I also really want to know what other factions did during these wars, like were the Crimson Fleet active at all? What were Constellation doing, were they involved at all? I just have so many questions for this game and I'm really hoping that we get answers soon. You know, Bethesda has actually mentioned before how we can steer the factions into a different direction, so to speak, based on our choices and consequences and stuff like that in the game. So it does make me wonder if we can actually ignite another war ourselves and sort of play the two factions against each other, or maybe even try and keep both the Freestar Collective and the United Colonies on a peaceful path, maybe even making this peace treaty go from uneasy to quite pleasant. We've also seen concept art of crashed ships which look amazing, which could point to us being able to find old ruined shipwrecks and hopefully even ship graveyards from the colony wars. We may even get some in-game politics where we can see citizens across the settled systems wanting another war to happen because they believe a certain faction should control more of the galaxies or something along those lines too. Again, much like Skyrim, we may even be able to get to meet some old war veterans who can tell us some stories of the colony wars and so on. Some may even be companions. There is a lot that's possible when it comes to major conflicts like this, which is why I think the Colony Wars will play a major, major part in Starfall's overall lore and story, and I for one definitely hope that we get some kind of Civil War questline in Starfield. I just hope it's a lot more fleshed out than Skyrim's Civil War questline. Also speaking of companions, our companions will likely have very different feelings on these two factions as well. Again, if one of them is a veteran, and obviously that is just speculation on my part, we don't know if one of them will be, but if they are, they may even turn on us and refuse to travel with us based on which factions we join and so on. Honestly, it's really just the small things like this that help build such a great universe and make Bethesda games so great, and it's one of the reasons I'm so excited for Starfield. The Colony Wars are definitely one of the things I am most interested in when it comes to Starfield. They really just sound interesting. I am planning to make a top 10 things I'm most excited for in Starfield video soon, so stay tuned if you do want to see that. But anyway, that is going to do it for me today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do drop it a like. It really does help me out more than you can imagine. And if you are new around here and you want to stay up to date on Starfield discussions like this and plenty of other Bethesda content, such as news, leaks, information, speculation, etc., you get the idea. I cover it all over here, so please do consider subscribing. We're also really hoping to hit 5,000 subscribers sometime soon, so if you do subscribe, I thank you so much for helping me get further to that goal. But with all of that said and done, I thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one.